Hello, and welcome to day eight of the Essential Oil Experience. Today, we're gonna to talk about one of my absolute favorite oils, and it's called Peace and Calming. And you guys, it is as exceptional as it sounds, I guarantee you. But before I get to that, I'm just gonna show you the starter kit again and how to find Peace and Calming in the box. It shouldn't be that confusing, but you know, there have been people who have not known about two oils, and I'll explain why in a second. But anyway, here's our starter kit. The starter kits do come with the diffuser as well. Um, you, you whip that sleeve off, and you have this lovely box. It's nice and thick and sturdy, um, and you can hold all your oily goodies in here for a while. And it's got it's it's got a magnetic closure too, which is really sweet. So you just kind of lift that up. And you will find when you get inside, you'll see your 10 pack of oils. And there's some exceptional literature right here. It's good information there. So when you get your kit, look at it. All right, now you're going to take your starter kit out and start exploring those oils we've been talking about. 10 pack of oils, right? But there's a surprise underneath. There's another layer, and believe it or not, there are some people who have never gone down below there to see it, uh, including my own mom. <laughs> so anyway, when you lift that little cardboard up, you see all kinds of extra goodies down in here, including what we've always called two free or two bonus oils. You guys, when you got your little pack, this thing here, um, the information in there is a little bit dated. I'm going to admit that to you right now because we they recently upgraded our starter kits and I had all kinds of information yet on the starter kit we just had. The starter kit we had was $160 and it had 11 oils. Now it's been recently upgraded to this in, incredible kit with 12 oils. And when they changed the oils, they changed the oils just a smidge Valor is not listed on those sheets that you have in your little bag, but it's now in the kit and Peace and Calming, same thing. It wasn't in our starter kits before. They added them back in. I say back in because my first starter kit had those two oils in it. They are two of the, the best oils Young Living has, especially for newbies, because people respond to them right away, um, and they're just, they're kind of game changers, you guys. Anyway, because of some shortages that we had, which happens when you are in a partnership with nature. We have that seed to seal guarantee I was telling you about, and sometimes we are without an oil because one of our crops isn't going to be ready for a variety of reasons. And that's what happened with blue tansy, which is, in, which is an oil that is in Valor and also in today's oil, Peace and Calming. So they adjusted the starter kit, was still fabulous but then we got our crops back and they put those two back in our kits and like I said when they added it back in they really increased the value when they put those two oils back in they only took one out so then suddenly we have a starter kit with 12 oils, oils which we had never had before the value they added was about $70 and they only increased the price of that kit by five so oh Great time to be part of Young Living. So anyway, when you go under the box, you see uh, the two bonus oils. One we'll talk about later, but today we're gonna talk about the one called Peace and Calming. All right, what makes this so groovy? <laughs> you know what? This is one of the oils when you smell it, you're gonna immediately go, oh my, <laughs> it's patchouli. Yes, patchouli is in here. Um, there are some people that are not fans of patchouli, but they are rare. Most people just love patchouli. Um, sometimes people confuse it with other scents. I roll my eyes here because I've been told that it smells like pot. I don't, <laughs> it doesn't, but usually what I say to, to those people is, you know what, I think you're just associating the patchouli that people used to do back uh, when they, you know, yeah. <laughs> So no, there's no marijuana in here. We actually have a CBD oil, but it's the, the one that does not have the THC. But that's a story for another time. Okay, patchouli is the one you're going to smell right away in here. And it's mixed with tangerine, orange, ylang ylang, and blue tansy. And it smells amazing. 
and its jab is just what its name says. It's to help calm you down. I don't have a whole lot of list of uses for this other than this is the one that you're going to turn to in stressful situations. Um, perhaps you're someone who suffers with this occasional anxiety. All of us have situations, though, that just send us, and this is the oil for you. In fact, this is my dog's favorite oil, believe it or not. You know how I've told you to put oils up here and they wick into to your brain and into you right away? It's the same thing with animals. The first night I had my starter kit, uh, it was storming out and I, uh, my dog is kind of a big old baby in storms. I wasn't thinking about her though. I was just looking for something that would help my husband sleep. So in my brand new diffuser that day, five years ago, I put in lavender and peace and calming and just to help him sleep. And he also has a lot of stress in his life. Well, it started to storm and I went to find my scaredy cat dog. You know where I found her? She was plastered in front of the nightstand where the diffuser was. She found the oils and she wasn't bad. Her eyes were very alert, but she wasn't shaking and spazzing out. So from that day forward, this oil became her jam. Um, I, If I'm in a room with her, like my office here, I'll just throw it in the diffuser and it doesn't take her long and she is very chill. But if if I'm not able to contain her in a room, what I do is I just put some in my on my hands and rub it on her ears and down her spine. If you have an animal and you want to learn how to use oils with animals, we'll talk and I'll show you the proper way to do that. As for we um, two-legged creatures, this is fabulous in the diffuser, but a lot of people like it on their heart. Some people like it on their wrists. Um, these are really good emotional points on your wrist, on your heart, behind your ears, the back of your neck, and on those feet. We talk about feet a lot. I'll explain more in another video on that, but your feet are also great places for an oil like Peace and Calming. Some people buy diffuser lockets or diffuser bracelets. Those are just things that have either felt or um, the little uh, lava rocks in it. Put the oils on it and just start sniffing them. So that's Peace and Calming, you guys. One of the best oils. Have a great day.